The Kazakh foreign minister has delivered a report to the Majlis. 25 years have passed since Kazakhstan joined the United Nations. That event indicated the worldwide recognition of Kazakhstan's independence, diplomats say. The next two years are the most important because Kazakhstan has become Security Council's non-permanent member. None of the Central Asian countries have ever been members of this key body. Kazakhstan's one of the main priorities in creating the world free of nuclear weapons and Security Council's site would be really useful for promotion of Kazakhstan's vision of nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation. President Nursultan Nazarbayev has invested his enormous effort in. The Kazakh diplomats are actively participating in the work of the Committee on North Korea. This country's nuclear missile program poses threat to peace and security in the present time. Once the Kazakh parliament has adopted an important bill allowing the Kazakh peacekeepers to participate in relevant UN missions, this also helped Kazakhstan to enter the Security Council. In total, 11 Kazakhstanis have served in the UN Ivory Coast mission and monitoring Western Sahara referendum since 2014. Kazakhstan presides in a number of the UN Security Council subsidiary committees, in particular on such burning issues as ISIS and Al-Qaeda. This committee solves specific issues, for example, identifying the names of individuals and legal entities involved in terrorism or complicity in, in terrorism. There are sanctions such as travel restrictions, freezing of assets at the international level. Since 1990, the Kazakh Majlis has adopted and ratified over 1,200 international treaties and agreements. The laws and official assistance are of particular importance. According to the Vice Speaker Vladimir Boshko, Kazakhstan has provided humanitarian assistance to foreign states worth over 10 billion tenge in recent years. Official development assistance is not charity, not one-off assistance to other countries. It is a flexible foreign policy instrument. Some countries reduce their international assistance, promoting the ideas of national protectionism and isolationism. I think that this is a futureless path. There is no long-term prosperity when neighboring countries are poor or torn by war. Kazakhstan will take over the chairmanship in the UN Security Council in January next year. The central issue will be the adoption of a specific document. According to the Kazakh Foreign Minister, this could be a Security Council's resolution or a statement on Central Asia and Afghanistan.